Welcome to the Zama Pulse. I'm Charlie Mabe, filling in for specialist Corey McCooch. And get up off your feet, Camp Zama. The heat wave has broken. Woot, woot, but uh, sit back uh, down, everybody, because there's a, a typhoon on the way. And get ready for news. Yes, a typhoon is currently tracking to blow through our neck of the woods. Of course, a typhoon is what we in America call a hurricane. And Tropical Storm Jandari is predicted to land in Kanagawa Prefecture sometime this Sunday. Uh, it's trending north to northwest. Uh, and it's actually slowing down a little bit, getting a little weaker. Uh, so right now we're projecting that it's going to go uh, towards the Izu Peninsula and then up towards Kyoto. Uh, it'll give us a little bit of wind, uh, not too much, and up to about six inches of rain though. So we're still monitoring to make sure uh, that we're safe, uh, making sure we're prepared for uh, maybe a little bit of heavy rain this Saturday. If you're a member of the Camp Zama or surrounding military communities, you've probably had TCOR warnings delivered to you on your mobile phone, work computer, or have seen them on an official Facebook page. TCOR stands for Tropical Cyclone Conditions of Readiness, and TCOR announcements are made as cyclonic weather events like a typhoon approach. Now, they're nothing to get overly anxious about. They're just a heads up to keep us informed and make sure we have the tools we need to stay safe. For this weekend's weather, be sure to check out the U.S. Army Garrison Japan's Facebook page, where we've got our weather elves hard at work with updates and tips on how you can weather the storm. Quite literally. The next time you see someone from Camp Sama's Child and Youth Services, give them a high five. That's because they just hit it out of the park on a surprise inspection, practically maxing out the score at 99%. Now that ranks them currently, let's see here, best in the region. We are ecstatic. We did an amazing job. And um, when I say we, that consists of all of our management team um, and our CYPAs, and those are the people who have their hands and feet on the ground dealing with our youth. And um, we're just excited. And this is a big deal because if we are not doing great on our inspection, then that compromises um, whether we get our DOD certification or not. If you're interested in experiencing Child and Youth Services five-star treatment, head on over to the Camp Sama MWR webpage. Click on the Menu button and select Child and Youth Services from the drop-down menu. If you've got kids, you'll be glad you did. Finally, we turn our gaze to our tepid reporter, Flermit the Sock. What have you got for us this week, Flermit? Thanks, Steve. I'm here by the gazebo by gate one where something mysterious has been happening every two weeks. People standing around, laughing, having the time of their lives, with innocent, helpless socks on their hands, or hand, who would speak for them? I managed to seek audience with the merry master of this laugh factory. Thank you for taking the time to talk to me today. Very welcome. Thank you, sir. For having us. So, what's with all this laughing stuff? So, um, this is our lunchtime laughter club, which we indulge in laughter yoga. Laughter yoga is a unique concept that was started back in 1995 by a doctor named Madan Kataria Ooh, out Madonna. of India. And I had the pleasure of being trained from him, and um, I'm a certified laughter yoga teacher. So, uh, so how does this work? There are four different parts to laughter yoga. And so the first part is clapping and chanting. And so when we clap, we make sure that we hit our, all, all of our acupressure points in our hands because that gets the blood system going and the blood flowing throughout our system. Also, the chanting helps to open the diaphragm. And so we know that we can get air in, but it's hard for us to get air out. And so the second part is breathing. That's where yoga comes in. We um, engage in yogic breathing where we do deep breaths through our nose and we exhale through our mouth. 
And then the third part is childlike playfulness. So a lot of times um, as adults, we start to take life too seriously. Um, studies show that children, they laugh um, hundreds of times a day. And adults, we only laugh maybe 10 to 15 times a day. Um, and so to inject that laughter back into our lives, we really celebrate every activity that we do with a little bit of childlike playfulness. Um, and it goes very good, very good, yay. And then the last thing that we do is we indulge in laughter activities, laughter exercises. One thing that laughter yoga does not hinge itself upon is humor or jokes. It really um, gets laughter going through laughter exercises. There's nothing funny about sock abuse. I don't know what more you want from me. <laughs> so, oh my god, okay. There you have it. Some crazy people laughing in a gazebo. Well, well, whatever it is you're talking about, I'm sure you'll keep an eye on it for us. <laughs> Get it? Because your, your eye just fell off. And that's it for the Zama Pulse for this week. I'm Charlie Mabe, and from all of us here at U.S. Army Garrison Japan, good luck and Godspeed. <laughs>